So the game I'm playing today is called Zuma Deluxe. This is a match three puzzle game developed and published by PopCap and originally released all the way back in 2003. In this game, you control a stone frog that can shoot colorful balls out of its mouth, which I fully understand is a description that could very easily be taken out of context, but I'm really not sure how else to describe it. I mean, that's, that's the best I can personally do. Each level in this game contains a track that a handful of color-coded balls will roll across. The tracks are connected to a golden skull that the balls will fall into if they manage to reach it. Now, this doesn't immediately sound like a bad thing, except it absolutely is a bad thing because you can't let those balls get to the golden skull. You have to remove them by matching three balls of the same color together. And the way that most of these levels play out is that at the top of the screen, there is a little meter that fills up whenever you create a match. Once the meter fills up entirely, the level will stop producing balls, and you'll actually be able to complete the level at that point. However, you still need to try and remove all the balls on the track, because when you fill up the meter, that doesn't mean the level just ends immediately. You still have to make sure that all of the remaining balls get removed and don't fall into the Golden Skull. The game takes place over the course of 75 levels that are scattered across 12 different worlds. Well, 76 if you count the final level, except the final level is kind of treated as its own separate thing. And in case it's not immediately obvious, I am not going to be playing through all 75 levels of this game. Unlike one of PopCap's later titles, Peggle, Zuma does not have infinite lives. You actually do have a limited number of lives in this game. And if you end up losing all of your lives in a playthrough, you have to start back at the beginning of the world that you were playing on. Now, thankfully, if you do end up completing that world, you will, of course, unlock the next world. And if you end up dying on the world that you just unlocked, well, you can just restart the game on that world. So, for instance, you complete all of World 1, you unlock World 2, and you end up losing all your lives on World 2, you can just start back at World 2. It's as simple as that. And honestly, guys, I gotta say, for a puzzle game that is supposed to be casual and fun for the whole family, this game is surprisingly hard. Like, I played this game for a little while off-screen earlier today, and I was kind of thinking that maybe it would be something along the lines of Peggle, where, oh, I can just, like, retry the same level multiple times if I end up failing, but no. <laughs> That is not what this game is at all, and not only that, but Peggle actually allows you to take your time aiming all of your shots and trying to hit all of the pegs in each individual level, but Zuma... Zuma does not wait around for you. The thing is, whenever the balls are rolling around on the tracks, they never stop rolling around. Like, they don't- they don't wait for you. Like, if you don't react immediately, they're just gonna keep on rolling into that golden skull. So this is a game where you really need to think fast. Like, you need to aim your stone frog precisely at the group of balls that you want to get rid of, or that you want to match. And you need to do it really frigging fast, too, because if you wait around for too long, you're gonna get overwhelmed very quickly. It's a far more difficult game than Peggle, for sure. And to tell you guys the truth, I've only ever been able to make it to level 9 in this game, and there's 75 in total, like I said earlier. But what I'm gonna do for this video is that I will at least show you guys what I've been able to unlock in this game so far. Because this game does contain the usual adventure mode and all that kind of stuff, but there is a different mode that you can also play in this game too called Gauntlet, and I do want to show that off a little bit later. So don't worry, I did think this through ahead of time, and if I'm not able to show off that much stuff in the adventure mode because of the fact that I just suck ass at this game, then I will at least try to fill in some of that time by showing off some of the things that you can do in the Gauntlet mode as well. Now, Zuma is not really one of PopCap's more well-known games. I mean, this game was still pretty popular back in the day, but whenever people talk about PopCap, they usually think of games like Bejeweled or Plants vs. Zombies or Peggle. Zuma is not really one of their more well-known games, at least I wouldn't say it is. Not compared to all of their other IPs, anyway. Not only that, but Zuma is also one of PopCap's more controversial games because its core concept is not really that unique. The majority of Zuma's gameplay is actually derived from an obscure arcade game released in 1998 called Puzzloop. 
This would essentially mean that Zuma is basically a clone of Puzzloop, although PopCap has stated in the past that they do not consider Zuma to be an exact clone of the game. However, the original developers of Puzzloop, Mitchell Corporation, were not too pleased about PopCap borrowing mechanics from their game, even going as far as to publicly accuse them of plagiarism. Despite these accusations, though, Mitchell Corporation never took any legal action against PopCap, and Mitchell Corporation would eventually go on to create a brand new version of Puzzloop for the Nintendo DS called Magnetica. And that was pretty much the end of the controversy right then and there. I mean, it was basically just two companies firing a bunch of words at each other with no real outcome at the end of the day. Perhaps I could even do a video on Puzzloop at some point in the future, but for now, we're just gonna play some Zuma right here. Alright, so let's actually try and play Zuma here, so we can click here to play. Welcome to Zuma Robotnik 35, I am using the exact same, uh, the exact same save file that I was using off screen in order to play this. This is unfortunately another one of those games that doesn't have a higher resolution option than 640x480, so I'm really sorry, but I do have to upscale this again, unfortunately. I'm upscaling this in OBS Studio, and hopefully it doesn't look too blurry. This is, thankfully, one of those games where you can revisit levels that you've already beaten, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing, because I am going to be going to Adventure Mode first, and I'm going to be starting from the very first level. I do want to just quickly make note of this little stone frog right here. This little frog has a purple button on the top of its head, and if you click that button, you can actually make its eyes follow your cursor around. So I'm not currently recording it on the screen, but I am moving my cursor around its eyes, and as you can see, its eyes are tracking me. It's just kind of following the cursor around, just looking at everywhere it go is. If you position your cursor like this, you can kind of, uh... <laughs> You can kind of make it look all derpy and give it like a lazy eye almost, which can be somewhat amusing for maybe a couple of minutes, but we're not here to mess around with the frog's eye is, and I think this guy right here who's holding the, the sun staff, I don't think you can do anything with him. I don't think clicking on him actually does anything. I'm just gonna show you the options menu right here. Yeah, look at this. You only have like 3D hardware acceleration. You do have window mode, thankfully. There is also custom cursors, but I have that disabled because, well, I don't want any cursors on the screen. Sound effects, music volume, I don't know what help is. Oh, actually, this would be kind of useful to show off because this does actually explain how exactly you play the game. So shoot balls by clicking on screen where you want the ball to go so you can rotate the stone frog with your cursor. The gem in the back of the frog shows the color of the next ball, which is also important. Right mouse button will swap the balls here, as you can see, so if it has like a green gem up here, then you can swap whatever ball it's currently holding its mouth with, uh, with that color. So it's got a blue ball in its mouth, that is a very odd sentence, but you know what I'm trying to say, blue ball in its mouth, there's a red gem. Well, you could switch to that red ball whenever you wanted to. All of the colors are random, I do need to point out. This is another one of those games that is a little bit dependent on RNG, but it is also very skill-based as well, much like Peggle. Clear balls by getting three or more of the same color in a row. Like colored balls attract and can create chain reactions. So basically what they're showing here is that you have a chain of blue balls right here that get removed, and as you can see, there's yellow and red balls, but they don't get attracted to each other. However, However, right here we destroy a chain of blue balls and there's another yellow ball that gets magnetically attracted to the other yellow balls that are on the left side right there. So that's basically how you create chain reactions in this game. So when we remove these balls from the equation, then yeah, the other ball all the way on the right gets attracted to the other yellow balls because it's the same color. If that makes any sense at all. It'll be easier to show when we actually play the game. Don't let the balls reach the skull. Shoot coins for extra points because, like I said before, you need to get a certain number of points in order for the meter to get filled up completely so that it stops spawning new balls in. And yeah, that's about everything you need to know about how to play the game at the very least, so let's go to adventure mode right now. So, we are currently on the first temple right here. So, all of the levels in this game are separated across four different temples. We're only going to be able to unlock the second temple once we complete the first three worlds, which we're not going to be doing in this video. The second temple contains worlds 4 to 6, the third temple worlds 7 to 9, and then the fourth temple uh, contains worlds 10 to 12. Stage 2 is already unlocked here because I've already managed to get to the second stage. So we are going to go to stage 1 first. Do you dare enter the ancient ruins? I, I do in fact dare. 
I definitely dare. Let's go and freaking do it. Also, pay no attention to the fact that I have, like, three high scores right here on the leaderboards. Don't pay attention to any of that, because I actually haven't been paying any attention to it myself. This is just the exact same thing. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna start on level 1-1 right here, Spiral of Doom. So this right here is the track that the balls are gonna roll around on. So I'm gonna get started right away, because I, I pretty much need to get started right away in this game. There's already a coin that spawned. So what you're gonna see me doing right here is that you're gonna see me try to align balls of the same color with one another in order to remove them. So if I continuously make chains here, I'm actually going to rack up a bit of a combo. And if I'm able to rack up a large enough combo, then that means the amount of points that I get for each chain that I create right here will actually increase. As a matter of fact, I already got a Zuma. Yeah, so basically what that means is that I already filled up the, the meter, which means it's already not spawning any new balls in. So, something else that the uh, tutorial doesn't actually explain to you is that there's also these special balls that will appear from time to time. So you may have noticed that one of those balls was actually flashing. Okay, there's multiple balls that are flashing. This one has like a little target on it. So this is a special power-up called an accuracy ball, which basically makes it so that, well, my targeting is a lot more accurate and the, uh, the balls also fly out of my mouth a lot faster. Again, that is a very odd freaking sentence. Okay, but this one is an explosive ball right here, as you can see. So it creates an explosion, and it takes out a bunch of balls within a very specific radius. And then this ball with the arrow on it is a backwards ball, which will cause all of the balls to move backwards for a short period of time. And I believe that all of these upgrades are random, because whether or not the balls actually turn into these little upgrades is, well, determined by RNG. It only happens randomly, and there is no specific pattern for it as well, so it's it's just, it's completely random. If you're in a sticky situation, you just have to hope that you get like an explosive ball or a backwards ball or whatever, because, yeah, there's pretty much no pattern to it whatsoever. But that was the first level right there. So you'll also notice that we do have an ace time as well. So, somehow, the developers want you to be able to complete this course, or I guess this level, in 25 seconds. We did not actually get a time bonus from that because we didn't get to the ace time. My best time is a minute and six, apparently. So when you complete a level, it does show your stats, it shows you your points, how many combos you made, how many points you got. So this gaps thing right here, you also get additional bonus points for shooting balls in between gaps and creating chains like that. So sometimes when you remove a pair of balls, then it'll create a gap, which you can then take advantage of in order to get rid of some balls on another side of the track. Again, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, max chain is 7, max combo is 2. So this tip right here is helpful though. Fill the orange gauge to complete a level. No new balls will enter the screen, so you see that little green gauge. It's green now because it's filled up completely. So you gotta fill up that gauge and then it'll stop spawning new balls in. But again, you have to get rid of the remaining balls on the screen first before you can actually beat the level. I believe you get an extra life for every 50,000 points. So this is definitely a lot more of an arcade style puzzle game than, well, any of PopCap's other puzzle games really. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce the title of this, uh, of this course right here. And I mean, if I do end up failing this course, I already have the second stage unlocked, so that's not gonna be too big of an issue, honestly. There we go. Yeah, so basically, green balls are magnetically attracted to other green balls, so that's that's one way that you can create, like, massive chains right here. Uh, I gotta... Yeah, I have to try and, like, like switch between different colors. Um, okay. I can also discard balls if I want, if I don't have the color that I need. There we go, get that accuracy ball before it disappears. Yeah, and you need to try and get those- you need to try and grab these upgrades quickly because they don't hang around forever. Got a slowdown ball and a backwards ball, very nice. Yeah, you can combine the upgrades too, which is also very, very sweet indeed. Again, if you're able to grab them, there we go. Okay, we did already get a Zuma. Yeah, and every time you do get a Zuma, the balls will move backwards on the tracks automatically. So basically, whenever you do get a Zuma, then it's it's pretty much the same as getting a backwards ball. That's pretty much the effect that getting a Zuma has on the track. So I'm gonna try and get this, uh, this slowdown ball right here. There we go. So it's gonna just slow down the balls, and it's gonna give me, uh, a lot more time to think. There we go. Nice combo right there. I also got an accuracy ball. Oh, very good indeed. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna get rid of some stuff. Get rid of some stoop over there. Very good. Um, okay, yeah. I want to get rid of that. 
I mean, we're basically done with this level right here. Get a nice slowdown ball just to, you know, really make myself overpowered as all heck. There we go. We're basically done here. There we go. Very nice. And and you'll also notice that the balls that you were holding onto before, they were blue at first, but then they switched over to yellow when I got rid of the last blue balls. I don't believe that's a bug, though. I think that is part of the game. You know, when that color is not available anymore, then the game will just switch over to any of the colors that are currently available. Otherwise, that would make the level pretty much impossible to beat. So this other tip is also helpful. Score points to fill the orange gauge. The more points, the faster the gauge fills. So, again, you want to create massive chains and combos, and also collect those coins if you want to fill the gauge much more quickly. That is how you get through all the levels efficiently in this game. Unfortunately, I am absolute garbage at doing that because I usually just focus on trying to make as many matches as I can and not actually, like, being smart and making, like, smart placements with all the balls. You know, looking for opportunities to create massive chains and combos and just, you know, just trying to be as efficient as possible. I'm usually just trying to go as fast as possible, not really taking my time at all. Which is not exactly the best way to play this game, not really anyway. So, this is Riverbed Mosaic. So, this level right here... Uh, I mean, the first few stages here are honestly not that difficult. I'm gonna try and get that coin, there we go. Got a bonus of 500. I had to shoot that through very quickly though, otherwise the gap would have closed again. Because you'll notice that, yeah, you, you can see that every single time the balls get attracted to one another. Uh, the gaps do close very quickly because they're moving back towards one another extremely fast. So you gotta, like, be very quick with your reflexes. Also, I am already at Azuma. Or at least I'm- I'm about to get there. There we go. Uh, oh wait, not quite. Not quite. Hang on a second. There we go. There's that Zuma. Very nice indeed. But the game is gonna ramp up in difficulty very fast in just a minute, guys. Like, you're not even- I, I, I don't know if you're even prepared for this, because this is a little bit of, uh, this is a little bit of nonsensical malarkey bullcrap right here. Or I guess, like, how fast the difficulty increases. It's just, it's honestly insane. I don't know, I at least find this game to be very hard, but then again, there's always the possibility that I'm just not playing the game correctly. I mean, there's, there's a very good chance that I'm not playing this game the way it's meant to be played, but I, I wouldn't know. I don't even know what the heck happened there. I think I picked up, like, a whole bunch of upgrades. There we go. Get rid of all of that stuff. Very nice. Zuma's not exactly the best game to commentate either, since your attention really needs to be on the game at all times. This is a game that kind of forces you to micromanage everything that's happening on the screen. And when you're trying to do that and also commentate over it at the same time, it's it's a recipe for disaster, man. Yeah, click the right mouse button to swap the current ball with the next ball, but we already knew that, though. We already knew that. Breath of... Ehekadal. Ehekadal? I, I, I'm not really even sure. Okay, hang on. I need this. Okay, could I have some blues, please? There we go. Very nice. Again, the color of the ball that you're getting is determined by RNG, I'm pretty sure. It's not only dependent on RNG, but it's I think it's also dependent on, like, how many balls there actually are on the screen as well. I think that's also another factor that comes into play, although I don't, I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on that. That's just a theory I have. Okay, what do I, what do I want to get rid of right here? I think I want to get rid of that, and also get rid of that. Oh my god, we, there's, there's actually not a lot of greens on the screen right here, so can you stop giving me greens, game, please? That's not what I need right now. Goodness gracious. Here, I, okay, wait, I can get rid of that, and also this. Here, get some blues. There's some blues I can get rid of. Get that backwards ball as well. Um, can I have, oh, I, I could have used that red as well. Okay, well, I did get another red. There we go. There we go, very- oh god, wait, I'm not paying attention, that was a green. There we are. Yeah, I need to- I need to remind myself of which gem I have, uh, stored in me as well, so I can switch over to that color if I don't have the- if the current color is not available to me. There we go, very nice. I could definitely use some blues, though. Uh, okay, yeah, there's something else that I can also, like, get rid of up there on the top of the track, or near the top of it. Uh, yeah, more more greens that I can get rid of. They're blue. There's a big track of blues all the way in the back. I could probably use that, that slowdown ball as well, though. There we go. Make it go nice and slow. Nice and slow. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so you can also fire balls on the track, and they'll just stay there if you don't make a match. There. That's what I was trying to do, though. Trying to play some balls in between so I can make, like, a big, big old combo. A big old combo. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to think now of what I want to do. I think I want this backwards ball again. And do I want this accuracy? Sure, why not? I think this is also a slowdown ball too, right over here. 
Okay, so this is this is the kind of situation you don't normally want to get yourself in, because now I can't really like make any matches at all. But there we go. Get rid of that explosion. There we go. Because I have to put more balls down on the track in order to actually make matches, and that's not that's not good. That's not necessarily what you want to be doing, but it's okay because we're done with this anyway. There we go. Big explosions. Yeah, so how much of the track you had left before the balls actually got to the Golden Skull, then, yeah, the rest of the track blows up and it gives you points. Yeah, shoot balls through a gap to score a gap bonus. The smaller the gap, the larger the bonus, which I was actually not aware of because I thought it just gave you the exact same point bonus every single time. So... This level is pretty interesting, Dark Vortex. So this is an example of a level that actually has two Golden Skulls instead of one. So you will come across these levels occasionally in Zuma Deluxe, and I believe these levels are usually situated at the very end of each world. So the only time that you ever come across a level with two Golden Skulls is at the very end of each individual world. So since Dark Vortex is the final level of World 1, then we are encountering a level here with two Golden Skulls. Now, I have been able to clear this level before, but you can see that the level tends to get very overwhelming really fast. And I start having, like, extreme streamer brain because I'm not only trying to commentate, but also concentrate on, on this mess at the exact same time. Um, okay, yeah, the, the skulls are starting to open their mouths, which is not good. Oh, no. Okay, well, I, I, I mean, I do have multiple lives, so that's okay if I end up, if I end up dying. Oh, no, you go, go back. You just go on back, please. I would very... Okay, well, I would like that slowdown ball, actually. I was gonna say, yeah, get some yellows. Because there's some yellows I can get rid of. Oh, I can get rid of that red over there. There, there's a little gap bonus right over there. So I wanted to at least be able to demonstrate that. There's another little... Okay, that's actually not a gap bonus. I thought it would have been. Okay, that's fine. Uh, reds. Yeah, and blues. Okay, I'm gonna really need to concentrate now. Because I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about this. Uh, we are actually almost at Azuma. I did notice. Oh, wait. I think maybe I want that. Oh, I want this as well. Okay, there we go. Nice gap bonus. Okay, we did get the Zuma. Um, can I get a blue, please? Because that's going to disappear if I leave it alone for too long. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, get rid of two things on the on the same track. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but... Uh, no, I want a yellow, please. Is it still there? Oh my god, please. I'm trying to, like, make a gap right here, but it's not really working out for me right now. At least there's not going to be any more balls that spawn, so that should be... We we should hopefully be okay. Although I feel like maybe we won't. Okay, here. Okay, th this is one that I can also get rid of. Okay, this reds. These reds right over here. Yeah, this is another yellow. Yeah, how about I make... That's not quite what I had in mind, but okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to try and get rid of these. Okay, here, here, here. There we are. Oh, there's another, there's another bomb actually. Okay, well, can I... Oh my god. I'm trying to get another blue here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna try... Okay, there. Get magnetically attracted to the to the balls of the same color. I'm gonna need that, that slowdown ball because I am just getting... Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it because now it's gone. Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean. This is too overwhelming. I wasn't even paying attention to the, to the skull on this side over here and I ended up, uh... Yeah, it ended up going inside of the, uh, the thing, the, the golden skull. But see, this is exactly what I mean. Like, you need to concentrate at all times here, man, because this is just... This game is relentless. Casual game, my left ass cheek. This is, like, super difficult. Okay, this is, this is not casual. There, in no, in no sense of the word is this, is this a casual game. This is, like, a hardcore puzzle game to the max right here. I don't care what anyone says. Here, I need, I need that backwards ball, okay? I would actually like the backwards ball. And I mean, again, it's also, like I said before, it's also kind of dependent on RNG too, because you need to, you need to make sure that you're getting the ball colors that, that you need. But in order to do that, you have to rely on, on the game making that decision for you. The game basically decides whether or not you get the, the ball colors that you need, or, or that you want. I would like this other one right here. There we go, very nice. It's also kind of difficult to focus on, like, both sides of the track as well, considering the fact that there's, there's like, uh, there's basically two separate tracks here. 
Oh my god, I can't concentrate right now. Hang on a second. Again, if I'm not able to beat this, then I already have the other the other level unlocked, so it's not even not even a problem. Or I have like the other the other world unlocked, so if that does end up happening, then we can just move on we can move on over to the next area or the next world. I can't even talk correctly right now. My god. I'm trying to think of what I should be doing here. Because I'm getting so overwhelmed. See, because I'm like trying to think of, of which matches I could possibly make. Oh yeah, and I guess I guess when you get a Zuma, it also has the same effect as getting a, a slowdown ball as well. I'm trying so hard to think that it's like I, I feel like my brain is just turning into gelatin in real time. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I would very much Oh wait, no, there's a bunch of backwards balls here actually. Okay. Just push that back then. Push it all back. There we go. Could I get another yellow? Okay, I didn't I didn't realize there was a chain that I was making right there. Oh my god, dude. I I, I don't even know what, what I what I should be focusing on. I really don't even know what I should be focusing on. Okay, I already knew that that was gonna make a chain though. That was definitely gonna make a chain. Okay, explosion. There we go. Some nice explosions. It's not like I can just easily discard stuff now because I'm completely surrounded by balls. And yes, I chose my words intentionally that time. That was done on purpose. Okay, here. And get get this like little gap right here as well. Okay, I'm noticing this one is is inching ever closer. Uh, get rid of some. Yeah, but see how long I have to wait sometimes in order to get the the, the ball color that I want, and then yeah, then it just disappears because I took way too long in order to get the one that I was that I was trying to go for. Here, like like this. I still don't have the one that I needed. Game, please. Why are you torturing me like this? Okay, wait, that's a bomb. Okay, there. Very nice. I uh, uh, wait. I can get rid of this. See, the only problem here is that that's also pushing, like, like some of the balls ahead as well. Oh god, I got rid of the yellow on- uh, accidentally. Like that. And- okay, well. <laughs> Why can I not complete this right now? I've gotten through this level before. Hang on a second. I really need to freaking concentrate, because I am- I am, like, losing my mind right now. Hang on a second, like, I actually cannot think straight at the moment. I need to, like- I need to, like, concentrate fully on- on this game right now, guys. Because this is actually beginning to stress me out a little bit, so just hang on a minute, I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I- I think I got it this time, guys. I think I got the hang of it. I actually got, like, a whole bunch of backwards balls off screen. That's that- I think that's what ultimately saved me here. Alright, blow all this crap up, please. God, I can't stand to even look at it anymore. Okay, so... <laughs> I actually did end up losing all my lives the first time I tried that, but I wanted to try it again, though, because I wanted to try and, you know, try and beat that level normally. Or I guess try and beat it properly, just to show that I have actually been able to beat it before. Or I guess try and beat it properly so that I can show that I was actually able to beat it again. I tried to scan my surroundings a little bit more that time, and I got really lucky as well because I got a whole bunch of backwards balls and a bunch of explosive balls that I was able to match. So I think that's what ultimately saved me in the long run. So honestly, I think I just got very lucky again. Yeah, tip, create combos of two or more explosions to score big points and push the curve backwards. I have not been able to do that right now. I've only been able to make like one explosion so far. Yeah, it's stage clear, or stage one complete. So, when the stage does complete, or when you do complete the stage, you actually just go straight to the second world. So you know what? We're just gonna continue playing, and I am just going to, uh, y you know, have my entire brain just melt. Just melt into a pile of jelly. That's that's what's gonna end up happening right about now, boys and girls. Watch it happen. Watch it happen in real time. I should not have, uh, should not have fired anything at that point if I had known that that was gonna, that was gonna start moving backwards. See, I only have yellows right here. Uh, yeah, okay, there's- there's a red. This level is not too bad, though. This level right here isn't so bad. I've managed to make it up to World 2-4. That's about as far as I've made it into the game so far. Like I said, I really don't feel like this game is as easy as it looks. It honestly isn't, because you can't- you can't wait around for no one, okay? Ever heard the old saying, time waits for no one? Is- is that even a thing that people say? I have no idea, but I heard it somewhere before. <laughs> yeah, this game does not wait for you if you- if you waste time. Cannot waste time in this game at all. So, don't do it. Just don't freaking waste time. There we go. Get that nice chain bonus. Is there anything else that I can make? Okay, yeah, there- there actually is. Keep the chain bonus going. There we go. That's how we get all the points. There we go. Okay, we did get a Zuma, so it's gonna start moving backwards and it's gonna slow itself down. I don't think I can make any chains, though. 
And I'm gonna have to fire something because I'm gonna have to, again, I'm gonna have to start moving quickly. Um, okay, I did get a blue right there. Okay, nice combo, nice combo going at the very least. Oh yeah, I have like nothing, man. Okay, I see a backwards ball, I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, very good indeed. Anything that I can combine the greens with? No, there honestly isn't. But the reds, though, I can combine them with. Yeah, because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of yellows here anymore. Oh, maybe I should have combined that with something. Hang on a second, I see that explosive ball. Okay, I'm going for it. There, get rid of a few. Get rid of a few at the very least. Um, yeah, okay, I can make another chain like right right there. There we go. Some magnetic attraction happening right there. Very nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. Okay, there. I can make I can make some tiny chains. Just get some tiny chains going. I think this will be fine. I think we're fine. I actually still have all my lives. Yeah, somehow I didn't die at all when I played through the first world the second time around, guys. I actually didn't lose any of my lives on any of the levels. Somehow. But then again, maybe that is like the Let's Play curse, because now I'm like... I was concentrating entirely on the game, and then I can actually play well all of a sudden. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I, I don't know. I still feel like I'm terrible at this game, so who, who can be sure? Who knows for absolute sure? There we go. We're done. Absolutely destroyed that level. Very nice. Yeah, close gaps by placing balls of the same color on either side. Yeah, because sometimes the balls will not get magnetically attracted to one another, and they'll just stay on one side of the track. They'll just stay there until another ball comes around and pushes them along. Yeah, so this level is Mudslide. So this is the level where we get introduced to the concept of tunnels. So sometimes the balls can go inside tunnels, and you won't be able to hit them at all when they're inside the tunnel. So that's not good, obviously. So I'm gonna try and uh, get some of the balls on top of here if I can. There we go, before they enter the tunnel. Um, I'm only gonna be able to do that with some of them because I have no greens. I would really like some greens right about now. Could you supply me with the greens, Mr. Lean, Mean, and Green? Racing machine. I'm just trying to rhyme crap at this point and it's not even making like a coherent amount of sense. Or any coherent sense is what I meant to say. God. Okay, here, explosion. Very good. Keep the chain going. There we go. Yep, there we are. Okay, good, good chains. Actually, we already got a Zuma. Holy crap. Okay, here. We can keep, we can keep making some chains go. Okay, maybe I should not have done that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay right now. For, for, for the most part. I just gotta stop those, those balls on the top right there. Can you give me a green, please? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. Okay, there, there is actually an explosive ball up there, and I'm gonna try and get it there. Okay, nice. Because you get to you get to destroy a lot of balls when you're doing that. Okay, can you stop giving me blues? I'm gonna need a yellow. Hello? Yellows? Anyone? Okay, th thank you. Holy crap. But see? See how long you need to wait sometimes in order to get the color that you want? My god. RNG is not being nice to me right now, man. Okay, there. I got the backwards ball before it disappeared, and there's also something else I could, I could destroy. There. Very good. And sometimes it immediately gives you the color that you need. Other times you have to, like, fire almost 20 times in a row before you get the color you want. Okay, that's another backwards ball. I'm gonna get it, because I like it. I like the backwards ones. There. Push you back a little bit. There. Maintain your distance, okay? You gotta social distance here. We're in the middle of a pandemic, alright? These balls are not properly social distancing right now. There we go. That's what happens. They get absolutely reamed into oblivion. Yeah, I get a coin for a big point boost to finish the level more quickly. I was, I'm not even paying attention to the coins right now, honestly. Not even paying any attention whatsoever. Okay, so this is the level that probably gave me the most amount of problems off screen. Um, I don't remember what this one is called, but yeah, this level gets overwhelming very quickly, I find. But I have been able to beat it before. I have managed to beat this level once, but I haven't been able to beat it since. Well, to tell you the truth, I actually haven't tried beating it since, so let's see if I can do this again. If I can't do this again, then I can go to gauntlet mode to show you guys the other level that I've managed to, uh, to get to, and also not complete. Something that I forgot to mention up to this point, by the way, is that there are just four different color types of balls right here. There's actually many more color types than just this. In the later levels, you do get introduced to purple and white balls as well. So it's not just like red, blue, green, and yellow. You're gonna get introduced to more, to more color varieties as the game progresses. And I can't actually show off what that looks like in the gauntlet mode. Because the gauntlet mode actually allows you to spawn the purple and white balls in the, uh, the earlier levels. Because I believe you only get introduced to the purple balls around World 4? 
and then I think in World 7 is when you get introduced to the white balls. I'll show off what the purple balls look like later on when we get to the gauntlet mode. So I'll, I, I at least have some method of showing off what that looks like. Okay, so let's do this. Um, oh god. I, I think the key here is to just not even pay attention to the gauge, just so that I don't like, I don't like, uh, you know, stress myself out. So I think, I think the key here is to just not even focus on that. Just don't even focus on it, okay? Just put it all the way in the back of your mind and don't even, don't even think about it for a minute. Because I'm just gonna end up getting, like, overwhelmed again. I mean, it would be a good idea to, to look at it from time to time, but... Oh my goodness, I need greens. There we go. Uh, that pause ball, or that, like, slowdown ball, I could probably use that right about now. Why am I not getting any blues? Oh, please, come on. Give me some blues, for goodness sakes. Doesn't even matter now, because it's already gone. Oh god, I'm getting into this predicament again, where I'm like, where I'm not paying attention and just- What am I even doing right now? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I blame myself for that because my my brain is just... I'm pushing my own brain into overdrive right now. That's what's happening here. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking it to the point where I can't even speak coherent English. Okay, please. There. Get some chains going. Okay, that's a good chain. That's a very good chain. God, I really feel like there's not that many opportunities to get, like, big combos so I can fill that meter up a lot more quickly. But like this, though, that could work. Okay, yeah. And then like that. Um, I, I mean, I could wait. Okay, wait, I'm gonna... Okay, I tried to go for the coin, but now it's gone. I got a backwards ball anyway. I'm gonna get that slowdown ball, too. Okay. We're making we're making some some plays right here, some big plays. I guess it depends on what your definition of a big play is. There we go, get that... That wasn't a gap? Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. It's not like I care anyway. Give me a blue! Okay, there, I managed to get it. And give me, give me some more blues. Okay, I need a bunch of blues. Oh my god. That is a big line, big line of blues right there. Okay, give me, oh, damn it. Give me that explosion. Can I also get the coin too, there. Okay, the ball also seems to get destroyed by the coin when I actually hit it as well. I'm gonna like need this as, uh, yeah, I, I need it. I just need it, okay? I need it, because I'm getting overwhelmed again. There, get that yellow. I think I'm gonna get that red as well. Yeah, the green. There, I think I gotta, I, I gotta just push everything back. I gotta push everything back as best as I can. There. That's working out. There. Okay, we're, we're almost there, actually. We're almost at the Zuma. And I think we'll... Okay, we're not at the Zuma yet, but... Hang on a moment. Okay, really? We're not at the Zuma yet. Hang on, what is going on? Okay, there. There, we're, we're finally at it. Now, the question is... Am I gonna be able to hold these balls off for long enough that I can actually complete this damn level? Because I had many instances off-screen where I was able to get fairly close to beating this level but they still managed to inch their way into the Golden Skull anyway, and I ended up like, like, uh, yeah, like boning myself completely. Okay, well, if you just stay, if you just stay really slow like this, and if I also continue to get very lucky with my, with my, with my, my colors right here, then perhaps there is a chance, or never mind, maybe there is no chance, because now I'm just, I'm just doing the stupid again. I am doing the stupid. I'm doing, I'm committing the ultimate stupid right now, because I'm just... I'm trying, like, I'm trying to determine which matches I could possibly make, and I'm just, like, standing there like an idiot just looking at the screen and not doing anything. Like, that's, that, that's my issue here. That is, that is what, that is where my issue lie is. There. This game is somehow even more stressful than, than freaking Peggle. And somehow I feel like this game is supposed to be easier than Peggle, but in all honesty, I really don't feel like it is. But I don't know, something just tells me that this game is supposed to be easier than that, but it's, it's really not. Or at least I don't personally think it is. My god. Get that combo at the very least. Can I, do I want that accuracy ball? Okay, well, it's gonna run out anyway, but... Gotta be some things I can do here. Oh god, what what am I even doing right now? I don't even know. There's a combo that I can definitely make right here. Yeah, triple. Very nice. Very nice triple right there. Okay, yes, I can definitely make another another combo. Okay, hang on a second. Not all hope is lost yet. I would like to get rid of this, this like, red right here. These lines of reds that are just, like, like just staying right here. Yeah, that are, that are just, like, like, just chilling right there and not doing anything. Okay, that was actually a backwards ball and a slowdown ball, so I got really lucky with that. It's not where I wanted to place that. I'm gonna need another yellow. There we go. We got it. Oh, wow, okay. I actually got rid of a lot of balls that time. I don't even see any more coins spawning in. I have no idea where they all went. Okay, this might be the point where I have to go into concentration mode here. Like, full-blown concentration mode. 
I, I do want that red. Okay, there's another red. Just push you back a little bit further. There. Yeah, it's okay if you keep discarding your balls like this. The game does not penalize you for doing that, just for the record. Okay, that explosion ball I'm probably gonna want. Yes, and that, that slowdown ball too. There we go. Okay, this is kind of this is kind of good right now. Okay, that was that was a nice nice chain right there. I'm gonna probably want to get rid of that too. Get rid of that up there. Okay, there's a lot of things right here that I could that I could potentially grab if I just get another red. Okay, go backwards again. I'm gonna try and there we go. Try to do that correctly. I want to get that accuracy ball as well. Okay, wow, this is actually really good. This is really good. Oh my goodness gracious, I actually managed to beat this level. Yeah, there we go. I managed to beat the level on camera. And this time around, it only took me like two or three attempts, I think. All right, well, thank you for being somewhat nice to me, game, at the very least, so I can show off this level right here. Mouth of Centotl. I don't know how to freaking pronounce that. Okay, well, anyway. Yeah, these are, these are like ancient Aztec ruins. I think this is what this is supposed to be based off of. I do believe so. Okay, wait, Gap. There we go. Yeah, there's a potential for getting Gap bonuses in this level for absolute sure. There we go. There is a little tunnel at the very end right here. So this is the level that I've been able to get to in the game so far. I have not been able to pass this level yet, though. Oh, God. Okay, wait. I... It, good thing I was getting a bunch of blues there. Okay, slow down ball and backwards ball. A very nice combination indeed. They're just gonna alleviate my stress momentarily at the very least. Just gotta keep racking up these combos right here. There we go, that chain bonus. If I just keep that chain bonus going, it'll be good. It'll be all fine. Hopefully. Okay, wow, I'm actually already at the Zuma, I think. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's maybe try not to screw this up. I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna try and show off that other color variant that we can get later on, but I mean, if I'm able, if I'm able to beat this level, that would be, that would be fantastic. But I'm pretty sure that's not gonna end up happening. That backwards ball, do I want that? Well, I mean, obviously I want it, but... Okay, well, now it's on the other side of the screen, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it now. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I got it. I freaking got it. Okay, I'm really trying to pay attention to what exactly... I'm seeing on the screen right now, because I'm seeing a lot of things, and I don't really like any of it, honestly. <laughs> okay, they're kind of doing good. Oh my god. Okay. Well, they're going into the tunnel. I probably shouldn't be letting them go into that tunnel, though. Hang on a second. They stopped momentarily. Wait, before he gets into the tunnel. There we go. Push him back. Push him all back. Give me a green. There we go. I gotta, I gotta get that slowdown ball. I'm gonna slow it down even more. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of these balls right up here. Get that other yellow. Oh my god, am I actually gonna be able to beat this level as well? Well, not if I keep doing that. Uh, ooh, accuracy ball. Nice. Okay. Look, I mean, we're getting we're getting somewhere, okay? Hang on a second. We're not at the clear just yet. But I am gonna get rid of that. Okay, that, that actually turned into a backwards ball at the very last minute. Okay, that was very, very lucky. Oh, this is a slowdown ball. Oh my god, do it. And I got an extra life as well, because I got 50,000 points. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, then I don't know what this level is. Snake Pit? And since I've already been able to get to this level, I will actually be able to retry it in the, uh, in the gauntlet. Or it's basically unlocked me permanently in the gauntlet now, so I can basically retry this level at any, at any point I want. Okay. Well, I, I honestly don't know how I've been able to do this. Okay, what even is this level right now? This is confusing me. Okay, yeah, Serpentine? Serpentine. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the Serpentine, though. Uh, ooh, get- Oh my god, okay, that was, like, way too close for comfort. Get that- get there. Okay. Get the freaking coin. Get the coin. I don't even know why this is stressing me out now, because I'm actually, like, kind of doing okay? Sort of? But at the same time, I'm, like, really stressing myself out worrying about a bunch of, like, like, trivial nonsense right now. I cannot believe what is happening. Okay, could I, at the very least, have a red? There. That's okay. Okay, slow that down. Oh, that's a backwards ball. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of you. We already have the Zuma, though. Okay, give me a green. Give me a green. Give me a green. Game, please! <laughs> I don't want to play this game with you right now. Holy crap. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, another backwards ball. Okay, now you're now you're just giving me green. See, this is what I mean. This is so freaking random. Look at that explosion. Oh, I got an accuracy ball as well. Oh, very nice indeed. Oh, very... Oh, okay, that's that's actually not gonna work like that. Okay, keep the accuracy ball. There, get that. What if I just try getting rid of the balls on this side? Actually, wait, there's another backwards ball up there. Can I get that one? Yeah, okay. Okay. And goodbye. And goodbye. Okay, there. Now we can just focus on one side, which is gonna be very, very good for me. Very good for me, hopefully. Oh, you turn into something. Oh, you're turning into a bunch of things. Okay, yeah, I see the one that they're heading towards. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, nice. Blue ball, please. There, slow down ball. Slow down ball is helping me a lot right now. Holy crap. There we go. I'm getting lucky with the color drops right now. Oh my god, dude, am I actually... Did I actually just beat the second world? And I was, like, having immense streamer brain this whole time. The backwards ball... We're done. We're done with world two. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I actually got through it. Stage two complete. I don't know, should we just continue going? Fine, frick it. Landing pad? Fine, you know what? We're just gonna keep on going for now, then. Yeah, we don't- we don't have- oh my god, this is a triangle. Yeah, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the other ball colors right now. Okay, well, then in that case, I don't really care whether or not we end up beating this particular world right here, because the fact that I was just able to make it here, I'm honestly amazed by. I'm- I'm not even paying attention at this point. There. Yeah, so you know what? We're not- we're not gonna even try and beat this world. I'm just- I just want to see what this level entails exactly. It's like a big triangle. It's basically what this is. I mean, I was definitely trying my best to at least concentrate on what exactly was going on, but I mean, like I said, Zuma is a very difficult game to commentate. That, that's one of the worries that I had about trying to record a video of this game. It's like, is my commentary... Am I even gonna be able to commentate over this? It's fine though, okay? It's fine. These balls are, are barely even moving at all right now. Here, get rid of that. Uh, yeah, okay, you can, you can go away then in that case. Get rid of these two. I, I definitely should not be moving the balls upwards like that. That's not a good thing. Uh, boom. Okay, can I... There's nothing I can combine these yellows with. Oh, oh, okay, well, I better just, like, do something right now, because I'm not getting the colors that I want, which means I can't even do anything. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, it still pushed it in anyway. Didn't even get the Zuma that time. Okay, last life. You know what? This will be absolutely fine. I'm honestly glad that I was able to beat the second world, okay? Because that second world has been, like, uh... Has been tormenting me for, well, most of the day today. Because I only ever first played this game, like, earlier today. Because I wanted to at least see how exactly this game played. And if I actually wanted to, like, you know, do a video on it. See if it was something worth doing a video on. So, I'm at least glad I was able to make a bit more progress than I expected myself to in this video, so that's always good. That's always fine and dandy. Get the accuracy ball as well. But after this, I definitely want to try and show off the gauntlet mode at the very least, and I think after that, guys, we'll end the video, because I think you already get the whole gist of this game. It's pretty simple. I don't know. Maybe this game is not as difficult as I think it is. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I'm just not playing it correctly. Like, I'm not playing efficiently enough. I think that's that's the real problem here, I believe. It's not with the game, it's, 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 it's with me. This is what Ben Shapiro would call more of a you problem. What am I even doing right now? I, I, I can't. I just can't. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, I can. No, I can. Do I not have blues? Okay, well, actually, I can combine something right here to, like, make something happen. Very good description right there. I am very articulate. Okay, well, if I can, like, get a red... Oh my god, you're not gonna give me a red, are you? You're not gonna give me a red so I can blow that up. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. Why would you be that generous, game? Why would you be that generous? It's always wise to look ahead, but difficult to look further than you can see. I mean, that's pretty useful information for playing this game. I kind of feel like in this game, you do kind of have to, like, plan ahead to some degree. Wow, okay, well, yeah, we did make it to the third stage, so that means I can just go back and, and play this anytime I want, right? Yeah, we can just start back on World 3 now, okay. Well, at least I got the third world unlocked, but I do want to go to Gauntlet Mode to show you guys some, some other things. Right, so the Gauntlet Mode is kind of a special mode where you can basically practice on any of the levels that you've managed to 
unlock. So these are all the levels that I have managed to unlock so far. Uh, I'm actually going to start back from the beginning here. Yeah, Spiral of Doom, uh, what does that say? Osprey Talon? And then Riverbed Mosaic, Breath of that person's name, Dark Vortex, When Spirals Attack, Mudslide, oh yeah, Rorschach, 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 This is what happens when I record videos late at night. This is what sleep deprivation does to your brain, guys. Just, just remember that. Mouth of Sentiotl, and then Snake Pit, and then, I think these are just like, like, some sort of bonus levels or something. Yeah, and we also have Landing Pad here. And then you can actually see some of the other levels that you unlock later on, yeah. Altar of Tlaloc, Codex of Mixtech, Shrine of- I'm not even- Oh no, Quetzalcoatl? I think? Mirror Serpent? Sunstone? Zumayak Exodus? Yeah, and then I think all of the other worlds, or all the levels from the other worlds are not available to us right now because we haven't unlocked the respective temples yet. So I can show you guys that I've managed to get Eagle status in Spiral of Doom right here. So basically the way that Gauntlet works right here is that it is effectively an endless mode. So you just keep playing the same level over and over, and as it goes on, it will become increasingly difficult, and you'll be able to rise up through the ranks right here, like you start with Rabbit, and then Eagle, then Jaguar, and then finally the biggest rank, which is Sun God. So this Moed does give me the opportunity to show you guys one of the other color variants, because I have been able to complete Spiral of Doom on Rabbit Moed. You have to complete seven rounds of Rabbit Moed on one particular map in order to unlock Eagle Mode for that specific map. Keep in mind that Eagle Mode doesn't become unlocked for every single level if you manage to beat a level on Rabbit Moed. It only gets unlocked for that specific course. In addition to that, you also have Survival and Practice Moed. Now, these two modes are not really that different from each other. Basically what survival mode is, is that you have to complete as many rounds as possible on this one level with only one life. And I don't believe it's possible to accumulate more lives by scoring 50,000 points. So you just get one life and that's it. So it's basically a matter of how long you can survive for. And then practice mode is basically the same thing, except you get three lives in this mode, and I believe you can obtain more lives by earning 50,000 points. So if you manage to beat Rabbit Moed on either Practice or Survival, you will unlock Eagle Moed, so it doesn't actually matter which mode you play this on. But I'm gonna show you guys what Spiral of Doom looks like on Eagle Mode with Practice enabled, because this is pretty much the only time you can see the purple variant color on this specific uh, level right here, because this is the only time it appears, so yeah. You do have purple balls here as well. You effectively have five different colors that you have to work with here. You'll also notice that the balls are moving a little bit quicker than they normally do if you're just playing the game in adventure mode. So yeah, this is basically just a, a harder game mode because you have more, more colors that you have to try and eliminate here. You have to try and destroy. I mean, there's not really much else to say other than that. I think you need to get to either Jaguar or Sun God in order to uh, unlock the white variants as well, like the white, the white balls right here. Because there's five different colors, the RNG is even, uh, well, is even more unforgiving this time around. Yeah, because it's choosing five different colors now instead of four. Choosing from a pool of five different colors. Oh god, I, I already can't think. I actually already cannot think at all. Yeah, you'll notice that the skull starts opening its mouth when it, uh, when the balls start getting closer. God, I feel like this entire video is just one gigantic euphemism. It's just, it's just about balls. I've been talking about balls non-stop this entire video. I mean, it's not even a euphemism, because I'm just, I'm just flat out saying it. It's not even a euphemism. <laughs> like, there's not even any hint of subtlety here. We're, we are just straight up talking about the, the, the male reproductive system at this point. God, there's so many things flashing too, and I can't... See, th this is another problem, because there's so many things that are flashing and turning into upgrades that I don't- don't know what to focus on. There's barely any yellows here as well, where are all the yellows? Why are you giving me yellows when there are barely any yellows on the screen, game? Please, don't treat me like this. This is- this is very toxic. Toxic treatment. I don't want to be in this toxic relationship. Oh my god. That was actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good chain right there. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on a second. We're already at Azuma. We're at Azuma, okay. Can I at least beat Eagle 1? I don't think I'm gonna be able to, and honestly, I, I don't care if I do either way, but... Give me a purple... No... Okay... I'll take this out in instead. Yeah, there's still- there, there's actually still a few things that I could- that I could erase from the- from the track here. Okay, this is- this is actually not too bad right now, at the very least. 
That's not to say it's gonna get worse by the end of it. Because I, I... That's exactly what's happening right now. Okay, actually, wait a minute. It's, it's kind of getting better. I'm surprised. Okay, wait. It's getting a little better. If I could just get some more... Okay, fine. If you're not gonna give me any... Any greens, then... I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. Fine. See if I care, game. Okay, wait. There, get that backwards ball. Okay, I think I'll... I think I will actually be able to complete Eagle 1 at the very least. Oh, yeah, if I get that explosion... Yeah, we're done. Okay, so that's Eagle 1 complete then, actually. Okay, well then here's Eagle 2. <laughs> Fine, I'll just I'll just keep on going until I until I completely manage to like screw this up royally. Fine, we'll just we'll just keep going with it for now. It's okay. It's fine. I kind of know what I'm doing now. So, you know what? I think this will be okay. We'll we'll just keep on going until I until I finally like like die entirely, which I feel is going to happen sooner than later, but I did get that accuracy ball at the very least. Wait, gap. Okay, nice. Oh, 420 gap bonus. Very nice indeed. What a nice number. Okay, yeah, there. Give me some purples. I actually need some purples right now because I want to get rid of them. I see a good opportunity to get rid of some purples. I don't see a good opportunity to get rid of anything anymore. Okay, wait. I do now. I kind of do now. Uh Please? Give me... Oh god, wait, 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 I'm not paying attention. There we are. Oh, that's also a backwards ball over there as well. I'm gonna see if maybe I can try and get that. Okay, hang on a second. This... The... Suddenly, the track is going really slow here. Not entirely sure what I did in order to cause that to happen, but I'm... I'm happy with it. I'm okay with it. Okay, we did get a Zuma. We did get a Zuma, actually. Okay, get that gap. Okay, but I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to try and, and clean some crap up now, because... Everything is just so messy right here. Because nothing... Nothing is moving. Okay, here. Backwards ball before it disappears. Nice. Explosive ball before it disappears. Very good. I don't think it was going to disappear, actually, but... Still. Didn't want to take any chances. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this... This yellow as well. I can get rid of some purples. Yeah, just get just, just get rid of all of this. Okay, I'm really surprised at how good this is going right now. I don't think this is gonna last forever, though. Okay, you know what? Maybe I am actually starting to get the hang of playing this game now, because this is going so much better than I thought it would. Oh, I got another accuracy ball, too. Okay, that's Eagle 2 done, then. Yeah, I guess there's not really any point to showing off any of the other courses in this gauntlet here, or the other levels, whatever. I mean, they're still technically courses, because these are all taking places on... These are all taking place on tracks, right? I think it would make sense to call them courses. I can even go and get that coin down there. Okay, I can I can get rid of something right here, though. There we go. I'm not sure if the amount of points you have to get in order to fill up the, the orange meter over there increases with each passing level. I do know that the balls start getting a lot quicker as it progresses, as the levels progress. I don't notice them speeding up right now, though, so I think... I think we might be fine for now. Okay, actually, hang on a second. Everything's kind of starting to fall apart now, though. Okay, yeah, there's nothing... there's nothing that I can combine. Oh, God. I th uh, Oh, jeez. I thought for a minute that there was... there, there was uh, a match that I could make there on the other side of the track, adjacent to the Golden Skull, but there actually wasn't. Okay, well, this is... this is some good... wow, all right. That was some very good, uh, very good luck right there on the, on the color selection. Thank you, game. Thank you for being nice to me at the very beginning. Probably not gonna stay that way for the remainder of the level, though, if I had to guess. There we go, backwards, ball. I don't have any reds anywhere, so I'm just gonna place that over there then in that case. I can blow this up, though, in the meantime. Here we go, get that backwards ball, another backwards ball, holy crap. I really do think I need to take my time aiming, though, because... I, I think one other thing that's causing me to fail a lot at these levels is that I'm always trying to fire stuff immediately as soon as I get my hands on them without paying attention to the gem color on my frog right here. You know, if I have the opportunity to create a match here or a chain, and if I don't have the color I need, I can just switch to, uh, you know, the gem color right here. Like, sometimes I keep forgetting that I actually have two balls stored all at the same time in this game. I keep forgetting that. Like, my stone frog has two balls stored inside itself at any single point, and that also is just... I'm sorry, I don't know how else to word this, guys. Should I... should I call these, like, like, ancient Aztec spears? I mean, I guess that would also be accurate as well, but that kind of gets... that's kind of, you know, really hard to keep saying over and over. I did somehow get a Zuma, though. Yeah, and they're all painted nice gaudy colors. It's, it's very good. <laughs> Okay, wait, we're making some gains here, guys. We're making some gains. Not a whole lot, but but some of them. Some gains are indeed happening right now. They are indeed occurring. 
I got that accuracy but Wow, where am I getting all those combos from? That's the thing, I'm not even, like, actively trying to make combos at this point. I'm not- I'm not paying attention to anything. Don't like how you're not giving me a blue. Gay him! Gay! <laughs> okay, this is just, like- this is actually absurd. Where's my purple? You did not- You gave me a purple at the very last minute. Okay, you know what, I'm just- I'm done. I can't- I can't deal with this anymore, guys. We're ending the video here. There's really nothing else to say about Gauntlet, honestly. You just have those two different modes, practice and survival. I mean, survival self-explanatory. You only have one life. I mean, I guess if you want to see what survival mode looks like before I- I truly end the video off right here. Yeah, this is survival mode, but again, you only have one life and I don't believe you can get more lives, so if you just- you know, if you fail once, then that's it, your run is over. That's literally the only difference, though, and I- I just feel like there's not really any point to showing it off, because it's not that much different from practice. Basically, you get to choose how many lives you wish to start with at the beginning of the game, or like the beginning of your run. So if you want to start with three lives and you want to be able to get a new life every 50,000 points, then choose practice mode, but if you want like a real challenge where you have to do everything perfectly and not screw up once, then choose survival mode. But for now though guys, this is where I'm gonna stop here, and I am just going to uh, I am gonna let these balls go into the golden skull on purpose, there we go, because yeah, I don't want to play this anymore. Honest criticism is hard to take, particularly from a relative, a friend, an acquaintance, or a stranger. Which is definitely true, but I personally believe that it's also good if you're able to critique your Yourself. Because I am a firm believer in the idea that your biggest critic is yourself. You know, if you're not able to be honest with yourself and acknowledge the fact that you have flaws that could definitely be improved upon, then you're not going to be able to better yourself. You're not going to be able to get better at what you do. You know, if you go about your life thinking that you have reached the absolute pinnacle of who or what you could be, then you're never gonna be able to improve on any other aspect of your life ever again. Not with that mindset anyway, because there is no such thing as perfection. And you shouldn't be chasing perfection either, like, what you should be striving for instead is to just be the best possible version of yourself, like, be the best person that you can be. Because at the end of the day, we're all human, like, we're all flawed in some way. But we shouldn't let those flaws define us, though. We should at the very least possess the integrity to admit that we've screwed up whenever we have committed a mistake. And we should be able to work on ourselves and ultimately move past it. Because at the end of the day, we're never gonna be a perfect species, but we should at the very least try to put the best versions of ourselves forward, and given the current world situation that we are in right now, that's more important than it's ever been. So it's especially disheartening then that some people still clearly haven't gotten the memo, and I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video for real. I just wanted to quickly show off what survival mode is. You just die instantly if all the balls get to the golden skull. Like I said, it's not that much different from practice mode. It's basically a more difficult version of that mode. Yeah, so that's Zuma then. So this is still a pretty neat little puzzle game, even if it might not be all that original. Like I said at the beginning of the video, most of Zuma's gameplay mechanics were borrowed from... Loop. I wouldn't be able to tell you how many of Zuma's mechanics are unique though, because I have never played Puzzle Loop myself. And I initially discovered Zuma a pretty long time before I found out about Puzzle Loop, so I just assumed all this time that it was an original concept, but as it turns out, not exactly the case. Still a pretty fun and hectic match 3 puzzler though, not really one of PopCap's more well-known games, at least I wouldn't say it is. It really does seem like Zuma does not come up very frequently when I see people talking about iconic PopCap games. I mean, I do know that Zuma was eventually ported to other platforms, because I think there is a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version of this game too, and I'm pretty sure this game was released for mobile devices as well, but considering how old it is, because again, this game originally came out in 2003, it's probably not available on iOS or Android, it might have been released on something even more ancient than that, like the iPod. Because I know that Peggle was eventually released on the iPod Touch, 
PopCap might have done the same thing with Zuma, so I don't think there's any point looking for the game on those platforms, because I mean, who even uses an iPod anymore? This game came out in a very different era, you have to remember that. I'm honestly surprised that this game is even still available on Steam, because Zuma Deluxe was one of the earliest third-party games to ever come out on Steam, all the way back in 2006. And the fact that the game runs perfectly on a modern-day operating system like Windows 10 is... Peculiar, to say the least. Especially since I don't think this game was updated even once ever since it came out on Steam 14 years ago. But I digress. If you want to purchase the game, the link is in the description. I will provide you guys with the Steam link at the very least. I could try looking for links to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 ports of Zuma Deluxe as well. I'm not sure if they would even still be available on the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live Arcade, because I mean, there's always the possibility that it might have been delisted by now, but I'll go and check just to make 100% sure, and if I do end up finding something, then I'll also put it in the description as well. And I don't really have anything more to say, so there you go, that's Zuma, one of the best puzzle loop ripoffs that you can play on PC. <laughs> anyway, thanks as always for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!